so I started using it nine. I started smoking pot. I had ulcers at nine. I found out everything happened at nine for me. I was a very worried kid. I just, I lived in a lot of fear and whatever. And so I, um, I started using it nine. And from the moment I took my first hit off the joint, I was in the bathroom in fourth grade smoking other than no joke, morning, noon and night. And I could get it everywhere. By 13, I was a full-fledged blackout, drunk, addicted to everything. My mom had read my diary and found out all the drugs I was doing, so she sent me, she put me in a drug rehab. Um, that was my first drug rehab. I got out, I continued to run away and use, and I was desperate to use, and no one was gonna stop me. So at like 15, I got sent away to some group homes, 14 for a year and a half. And when I got out a month later, I ran away to Texas with my boyfriend, came back and was partying with my dad. My dad was one of my sickest addictions when I was 13. Also, literally, my dad had said, open your mouth and shut your eyes and daddy will give you a big surprise. And that was my first two 714 quaaludes. I don't remember, you know, what happened after that. That's about when blackouts started becoming a reoccurring theme in my life. I had three DUIs by the time I was 17 and I was facing jail time. I had 13 warrants out for my arrest. So I took off to Florida with a fake ID, fake name, and off I went. I met my husband. We were together 23 years. He was a bad addict also. He was more functional than I. He could go to work. <laughs> and we ended up being together 23 years. We had three children together. I got clean at 27. My little boy was four and my daughter was one. And I remember just looking in their eyes and, and, and thinking, what are you doing? My life was just a disaster. <laughs> And so I remember looking into my little girl's eyes. That's what it took after a week bender and thinking, well, what are you doing, Angela? And I, I came to, and that's when I got, at 27, I got clean. I got off the cocaine. I got off the alcohol. I stayed clean. I mean, I relapsed, I think, like after a year. But then I pulled together like seven, eight years clean. And I became top employee, top salesperson. I would run motivational meetings. I started making a bunch of money in timeshare because I'm a real estate agent. And I was going to make up for the wreckage of my past. I looked to all this stuff to fix me. And I thought that the title and the money and the job and the house and the vacations, I thought all of that was what was going to make me feel better and feel, fill that hole and that void inside that I could never fill and it didn't. My life was a mess, but I just one minute at a time, I just kept hearing God say, hang on for dear life. Everything I ever wanted and needed was in the Word of God. I lived, breathed, ate, drank the Word of God. I went to 12-step meetings at Celebrate Recovery. I went to CR. I started going to 12-step meetings. I started working the steps. I got inner healing for a year and a half. I found freedom through the 12 steps of recovery, through Celebrate Recovery and NA and Inner Healing and all of that and the Word of God. He changed me, He transformed me. And um, I, I never looked back, I quit. I quit answering to my flesh, bottom line. What Armor Up is to me is, it's a way to help women change their story. 
where what they thought was their greatest tragedy and their greatest devastation and there is going to be their greatest victory. When we make it out of the pits of destruction alive, when we make it out of hell alive, it's, there's a fire. There was a fire in me to go and give back and help women not be a slave to our addictions anymore, a slave to the desires of the flesh because that's what we are. And Armor Up is a way to show women how to be happy, joyous, and their families and their children. I talk to moms and dads every day. That is half my ministry, is talking to families on the phone and helping encourage them and support them and guide them and set healthy boundaries. And I know that what the enemy meant for harm, God will use for good the word by the word of their testimony. And the greater the difficulty, the greater the victory for them. And I know this, that if I can make it out alive and free, I know the truth of been set for anyone can. And I will spend the rest of my life trying to help other women do the same. That's what Armor Up is. He's building an army of women with a heart for God that I believe are gonna be a whole big part of everything he wants to do through Armor Up. This is not my victory. This is his victory. Amen.